Okay, when you haul like the frugal nista hauls for free, the only problem, if there is a problem, is finding out where you're going to put this stuff. Now, as y'all can see, I am in my living room, and I'm trying to decorate for the fall, guys. I have been spray painting, but I've been finding for free. And it really is a blessing when you find stuff like this, but again, you have to house this stuff till you figure out what you're going to do with it. Again, another thing, Friday is my busiest day, but I'm going to make the sacrifice. It is Friday morning. I'm not even sure the date. I think it's almost like 22nd, 23rd, but the best way to do it is just get down here on, get down and dirty and let, and just let y'all see. I've loaded it all in here and um, we're just going to go from here. Okay. The first thing that I am hauling for free, uh, I picked up a home basic five tier corner wire shelving system that has never been opened. And guess what guys, not only do I have one, I have two. So when I was pulling this out, I actually thought it was just one and thinking that maybe it was an open item. But guess what? They never were open. So this is still in this original packing um, thing. And as you can see, this is the first one, okay? And they have it grouped together. Like that's one and this is one. So if you see this side and this side, um, it's still in the, I hate to say it, guys. It's still in the, wow. Okay, wow, this is weird. I don't know about all that. We're just going to keep it moving. But anyway, the Frugal Nista found her too. And it's a nice shelving unit. It is a five-corner. It's from Home Basics. It's a five-corner wire. And as you can see, it looks like that. Kind of getting a glare from my light, but yeah. And I have two of those, never been open. I don't know what the deal with that is, but moving right along. <laughs> along, okay. Let's do this one next, okay? And I apologize for reaching, guys. This actually, uh, I really like this because it really has nice bones. I actually went back to see could I find the other corner. Now, again, a lot of this stuff needs TLC. I get it, but I really like this. When y'all see this during my home tour, y'all not going to believe what I'm going to be able to do with this. But it's something for the Christmas holidays that's right around the corner. And I'm trying to hold this corner because it is a, something that got damaged probably in shipping. And they had to throw it out, which is fine. I get they have to throw out stuff like this. But these are the things that I live for because this is really a good quality piece. If y'all can see, it's a metal piece. And you would think that was wood, but it's made out of some kind of really heavy, thick uh, resin, some kind of material. But this came. And if y'all want to see the price on that, can y'all see that? Not sure if it's going to focus for you, but that's like $69, guys, $70. And it's really cute. I will definitely use this. And when I get finished with it, y'all not going to recognize it. You won't be able to tell anything wrong with it when the Frugal Nista puts her spin on it for the holiday. Okay. Was that that is? That? Here is a Samsonite ready for anywhere. It looks like it's a laptop case for... You know, and I don't think this was, you know, I don't know the condition of it. You can see, I can let you look on the inside. It looks like all the original packages stuff is in there. Here is the shoulder strap still in its original packet. But that's nice enough. If I had a laptop, I think I would use that. But I don't have a laptop by Samsonite. I think that's a good name. Uh... This is some sort of elbow support band. Okay. And I'm going to be doing a lot of turning around, guys. I, po I apologize, apologize for that. I have no idea what this is. This looks like some kind of weight loss uh, aid or something. I'll see what that is. And yeah, I do get uh, health items like that sometimes. Okay, and then this looks like this is a Better Chef 22 Chrome Plated Dish Rack. It has never been opened, guys. It's still, you know, it, if I had to guess, maybe because the box is kind of dented here, I have no idea. So I might not even take a peek in this, but I may just take a peek to see, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. It definitely shouldn't have been sent, you know, or put in the trash, I don't think. I thought this was cool also. This has never been opened either. 
It is a six sh sh uh, sheet strip cut shredder. I don't have a home shredder, so maybe I'll keep it or we'll see. Okay, yeah. Never been open, guys. Yeah. So again, like I was telling y'all earlier, I have not been looking out in forever. Here's another knee support. And this is seriously just a hodgepodge a, uh, from various stores. This is some sort of Urge Sound Disc 3W Bluetooth mini speaker. Never been opened. Okay. And they say you can use that in auto, home, outdoors. That, that would be nice for outdoors. I was thinking if you're listening to music, you know, you wanted to connect your... Uh, music catalog to that. Here are some envelopes that have never been opened. This is called, uh, it's about 12 envelopes in a pack. And that's still factory sealed. Yeah. Here is a monthly planner. Now there was a dumpster load, load of these. I just grabbed one off top. This is a 2015. And uh, by, by the month. Things like this, guys, I give them to my little nieces and nephews sometime when they're sitting in church. It makes them look like they're big people. I already have a planner, but they can play with that, get some stickers for them, and that is a good deterrent or distraction while they are, uh, you know, sitting in, in through a service. Here's another one. Now, this is actually a uh, 2015 also. So, like I said, if, if both my little nieces and nephews are with me, I pull that out, give them some stickers and a pen, and they write and thinking they grown. So that's nice. Here's a little container from Celebrated. Okay. Has a top on it. Just a little storage container for food. Moving really quick, guys. Because I uh I have things to do. And the main thing is to clean this room out. Look at these little 3D Samsung glasses. I remember when the 3D sets first came out, these things were really expensive. So I'm actually going to probably go online to see how much these cost. But they've never been open. I found a couple of packs of those. And there I go again buying highlighters. And here's an entire pack of 12 in the trash. Okay. So, you know, a highlighter. Somebody could always use a highlighter. And we're not going to get on our soapbox of our school districts. Here is a power bank case, phone case, and it, it is for the, um, I don't know what phone it's for, but it looks like it's for the 6, maybe, or the 6 Plus. Hey, that's my phone, I think. If that's for the 6 Plus, that'll fit my phone. Okay, and then here is a USB. Doesn't look like it's ever been opened. Brand new. Here are some, uh, I told y'all guys, it's a hodgepodge of free finds. This looks like a little toy, but look at the little sea creatures inside. And maybe I'm going to move this here so I don't have to keep okay. turning around. Hold That's on. better. That makes more sense, right? So now I can reach in here and y'all don't have to keep looking at my backside. Look at these guys. This is some sort of lettering stencil. Here are more stencils. This is in a sparkly color. My girls are always doing projects using poster boards. That's going to be nice. Pretty glitter. Oh, these are trans uh, transformations. This can transfer onto fabric. Okay. This is some sort of engraving art foil. Here are some more letters and numbers. This looks like some sort of, uh, these look like small envelopes that may have been possible with greeting cards or something. I can use those. Another pair of those 3D glasses. Another pair. Here is a, um, looks like a script pad or a pad for drawing. Yeah. And this is from Newsprint. Here is a huge collection of double-sided cardstock paper. And look at all those pretty colors. Yep, that end had been opened a little bit. But I definitely can make use of that. 
more cardstock paper. Here's some in black. And it's really a good quality, guys. And then that is a really nice thick. Okay. And I hear my landscapers out there. Y'all hear the lawnmowers going. Sorry about that, but I am not stopping. Here's some more black cardstock that just came out of its original package. Because if I don't do this now, I'm not going to ever do it. Look at this, guys. This is a decorative rod. It looks like that end came off, but all of the proponents are in there. While I'm standing up, I wanted to show you this also. Here is a, and I'm not gonna be able to lift it, but I can just kind of let you guys peek at it. Here is a HP Laser Pro printer. Okay, we'll see what the deal is with that. As I scoot it out of the way. Y'all giving the frugal niece to her uh, a workout today. She is earning her dollar today. Okay, the first thing in this in this bin, if you can see, I have another bin. I'll show y'all the bin when I get done. It's just a regular bin, but here's a mask. Okay, still has the you know pretty little ribbon attached to it. Here are a bunch of photo frames from the DT. And they all were perfect. None of them were broke, scratched, dent. They're still, list, you know, still in the plastic. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve. You know, that's like twelve bucks. Really? <sighs> okay. Now this is the stuff I like. Look at this. This is a reversible favor box. It's an entire collection, and it's a pretty color. I actually found. Uh, brochures or invitations in this color um, uh, like uh, program you know so that's really nice I like card stocks and stuff like that I'll definitely make good use of that I'm always doing um, you know parties and things like that for people yeah that's cute this is a box within a box within a box really cute I think there are three boxes in here and they all are in great shape those make fun items for, you know, Christmas gifts. That's in black. Here are some more fun items, things that I like to get. Now this has been opened. It's by the Celebrated line, but these are favor boxes also in gold. It's coming up on the holidays, um, anniversaries, things like that. And that's a 20 piece set. Some more fun stuff look at this this is uh, a value pack of cards and envelope oh i like these look at that i'm gonna take this out really quick i know i can't look at everything in detail but i think this was just because of packaging but look all of that has never been touched i will definitely make good use of that that is so cute for a and you know a party or a uh you know just birthday invitation or thank yous or something really nice very 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 nice yeah so i'll be keeping that to put in my stockpile look at these and these are paper milk cartons wow look how cute look at that and with you know it's a holiday we're getting ready for the holidays it's fall out yeah and that's a pack of 24 and here's another pack of those. Okay. And again, I think it's just because of packaging. Everything is in there and it looks like, you know, it's a complete list or a complete package. Just packaging is jacked up, but I don't care about that. Here are some paper bags by Reflections. And this one actually has like a little sheen to it, almost like a bronzy age gold, really pretty. I apologize again for that, the leaf blower. It's uh, fall time and my guys are out there, but I think y'all can hear me. Look at these little table numbers with the pretty uh, polka dots for a party. Very, very nice. So my very next wedding, if there's gold, if their colors are gold and cream, so pretty. 
I found a bunch of these little straws. Uh, now this is open, but I can use these in arts and crafts or something. And most of the time when I use these, I don't really like drinking out of them. These are some pink and green, a beautiful, gorgeous combination. Um, you know, paper straws. So if I use these, they'll be for decoration anyway, but that'll be pretty on an outdoor tablescape, you know, in the spring, summer. Yeah. Here's a package that has not been opened, and these are in a pretty teal color, and they are striped and polka dot. Okay, that's by the, uh, you know, the brand Reflection. Look at these cute little clothespins in that still pretty teal color. Here are some more little party favor items. This are little flowers with pearls. Look at these little doilies. And I think all of this stuff was just for packaging, honestly. And here's a cute basket. Just in time for the harvest. Now we're going, looks like, into another store. Again, Dodo Head Me. Why purchase pens for your children to use when you can just look in the trash can for them free? Guys, here are three packs of blue ink pens that... You know, a church could be using a school. This is a Vita Goods Travel Plus. I have no idea what that is, but I will see. It looks like it might be a heart monitor or a blood pressure monitor. Maybe that's what that is. This is some kind of um, wrist rest. Okay. Never been open. Here's another pack of ink pens. This is a fruit juicer. Yeah, it's kind of clanging around in there. This is my, I think I found this before last year. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I think all of the stuff is in that one. I don't know what this is, but you can see that it looks like some something. Advanced cooling for performance computing. I don't know what that is. I will do a Google search on that. Here is a hands-free Bluetooth by Motorola, I think. And then I found a bunch of, well, y'all know what these are, folders. Again, something that somebody's church could be using or let the kids draw on them. And then I found, it's not my brand, but three dishwashing liquids. And then a nice bin without the top but I'll use that to store my free finds okay guys look at this basket the basket that all this stuff is housed in will definitely be able to be used by me I love getting nice quality baskets and that's one Whew. again y'all making the frugal needs to work out girl all right uh I don't know what that was just some paper so I'm just going through this as uh, it was in there. Here's some chalk in blue. Let's do this grouping of flowers next. Okay. Here is a happy birthday alphabet uh, letter cut out by Wilton that's been open. So this looks like I must have gotten hold to a return or things that were just open. Look at that little sponge. I purchased these before. Okay. Here is a um, bead craft tool set. And it looks like it opens. Yeah, it has all the little clippings. So on first hand, it looks like it's okay. Something's kind of loose in there, but I'll figure that out in a minute. This is some Mod Podge, and this is in pink. Never seen that before. Look at these little acrylic beads, open package. <laughs> A little spider. Can y'all check out my spider nails? Can y'all see? Yeah. <laughs> spider napkins, still in this original package. Here are some kind of little scraps. I don't know what that is. Something for knitting, possibly. 
Here are some findings. I don't know what that is. All my crafters out there probably know. Look at this piece of safari fabric. Okay. Here is an apron. Little chef apron. What does it say on it? Uh, life is sweet. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is more inventory. I consider that inventory now. And another box full of stuff. I may just have, you know, just kind of scan through this stuff. I always keep bubble wrap. That's a nice piece of clean bubble wrap. I'll use that for shipping. But this is things like that. Those are little cute party favor items. Look at these little straight pins. Okay. Here is another white opaque pin, probably for packaging. And oh my goodness, command hooks and it's the holiday. Now they say this was too short and it's a 12 pack. So guess what? The Frugal Nice will, will use the other 10. I sure will. I'm going to save that out. I'm actually decorating for the fall as we speak. Look at these pretty glitter letters. Here's some stamps. All of my crafters out there know all of these items oh too well. Here's some fabric marker. Again, why do I bother to pay for things when I can go to the garbage and get them free? I picked up Expo Dry Erase from my child's class. And here are two packs of those. Here are some little gold safety pins. I don't know what this is. It is some sort of micro beads in that magenta color. Here's some little, um, I don't know, ornaments for jewelry making. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at these rocks. Bag of rocks. I got a rock. I watched that the other night. Here is some sort of little charm. And look at this, how cute. It's a little, it's not chalk, but it's got a little clipboard and it has a little easel so you can prop it up. That's gonna be cute. I think I'll save that also to decorate with for the fall. Here are two containers of sparkle or glitter. Here are some more safety pins. Always can use those. A little bow, one is missing. Some sort of embellishment. I don't know what this is. It looks like something for, oh, this is artistic wire. Maybe it's some kind of wire that you use to hang photos with. Here's another ink pen, some sort of pen. A little, I don't know what this is. This is a manuscript. I don't know what that is. You guys tell me. I have no idea. More of those Expo. This came out of its package, but I had a bunch of these. And the rest of this is just, uh, I found a bunch of tea lights. I like using those with my oil burners. I found a bunch of those. And I'll just let you see that, okay? You can see all of those. A couple of glow sticks, some garland with hearts on it, some little washi tape. Yeah, a bunch of uh, just a hodgepodge of stuff. Okay, we are moving right along. Look at this, guys. This is from brides.com, and this is a pack of 30 invitations. Look how pretty. This does not have to be for a bride. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it is in a beautiful uh, lime green, little lime green bow, and that's a complete pack. And y'all remember when Dollar Tree had these, but this is really, really nice. Look, never been touched. Love that. Yes to those. Y'all know I love paper. I go crazy over paper. And speaking of paper, look at all of this. Craft paper. Okay, it was out of its original package. Uh, there are a couple of pieces. Look at that. Really, really nice. Okay. And look at that pretty flower one. Okay. So it looks like it must have been 12 sheets. And I think I have all 12 sheets. It's just not in its plastic wrap. Look at these little embellishments. A butterfly. Oh, cute. Look at the burlap bow. Very nice. I may keep that out also to decorate with. Look at these little um, chalkboard name tags or place cards tags. 
Yeah, chalkboard stickers. I've per I bought those before. More letters. This is an Exacto knife. Okay, they hit it with spray paint, but the inside is still fine. And then look at these papers from Disney. It's 120 sheets. And the front looks, you know, kind of tattered, but look at this. These are perfect. Look at this, guys. Perfect. So it's an entire book. Really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a shame my girls are getting bigger because I would have used all of this for, you know, birthday parties. Look at Minnie. Oh, so cute. And this is the real stuff, guys. Licensed by Disney. I mean, good, good quality items. Here's another bin. Again, why I buy stuff. I bought this for my guest bedroom. One of these in a blue. This is in a gray and white. My nautical themed guest bedroom. I bought one of these from... I think Home Goods, and here here it is, one in the trash. Look at this. Here is a one of those little selfie sticks. I bought one of those before. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a bridesmaid's T-shirt. Something smells really nice in here. I think something is waste. Some kind of. Uh, these are gift bags. Look at these. Bought those for my girls this school term. And here they are in the, you know, a good quality watercolor pencil set. In the trash. Looks like some tool circles in purple. Here's a big sparkle thing of tool. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on it. Really pretty. Here are some fabric squares. Look at these paint brushes. Okay, there is a Energizer battery, spray paint in pink. I was spray painting uh, earlier. Look at this. One of them is missing, but one is still there. This is the adhesive, remo uh, removable adhesive tape. Here is a little uh, headband or a head bow in, in gray. These are little lights. And again, we're getting ready to decorate for the uh, holidays. I think I got some of them to work. I'm not sure if you push them on or what happens, but I got these to work. These are in blue and they are, oh, you can submerge these LED lights, okay? An open package of those. And I think I have some in clear here. Look at these black uh, clothespins. Really cute. More fabrics in a chevron, a pretty blue. Look at these charms. One little camera here and the rest of them have just flipped over to this side. Uh, look at all of these little ornaments, I guess, for jewelry making. Look at the leaf. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Here's that other thing of LED lights. Yeah, there it is. You have to press it. Can y'all see that? Oh, I didn't mean to blind y'all, but yeah. I might use that, you know, when I'm decorating. Oh, it's a timer too. Oh, it flashes. Anyway, so I have those. You can submerge those in water. Here's a cardboard star. Something left over from the spring. A summer pot percher and a little grasshopper. Cute. And then look at these, Insta Love. I don't know what this is, but it's still in its original package. I don't know if they're card or card stocks or, ooh, I thought about it. When you guys do those little, what do you call it? When y'all give each other cards? I don't know, what's the name of it? I've been watching y'all trading cards and stuff. What do you call it? I don't know. But yeah, look at that pretty little applique. Is that spark? Those are in pearls, really pretty. Uh, beautiful embellishment and then look at that now that could be I'm actually doing some arts and crafts myself look at this little I don't know what it is I think it's a stamp I don't know but really pretty it has an A on it but look at that but I was thinking about putting that atop maybe a pumpkin I don't know but I'll keep that it's a cute topper and it has some weight to it so I don't know what that is okay guys looks like we have some sort of easel 
to paint on. It's from Artist Loft. It's really big. It looks like it's never been opened before. And then I found this piece. Now I could have used this with decorating for the fall. I don't know what it is. It says it is a, it's just a piece of wood. Uh, but it was $19.99. Maybe it was part of something else. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's part of that easel thing now. But anyway, this could have been used outdoors. I'm decorating for the fall, so I could use that. But we'll see. Speaking of fall, I found a cute little uh, scarecrow. She's missing an eye, but hey, she's a scarecrow. She can make it work right. Yes, a little cute scarecrow. Here's some more spooky stuff. And it amazes me how much this stuff costs, guys. This retails for 60 bucks. I've done my research on pieces like this, and they sell really, really well for me. Um, this has never been opened. Um, yeah, 60 bucks. It amazes me what people spend their money on. But hey, uh, more spray paint. I've been spray painting today. This is in gold. Coming up to the holidays, I'll definitely use that. Uh, the top is in here somewhere. I saw the top earlier. Here's another mask. Look at this little spooky stuff. Okay. Yeah, this was listed at $21.99. And these are some guys barbecuing some little skeletons. And then here is a husband and wife. She's missing her head, but that's kind of the point, right? I mean, I don't know. We'll see if you're into that kind of stuff. <laughs> here's a little uh mason jar missing the top but i can make use of that and this is what i'm smelling this smells so good this is a decor scent it's not even open but it smells divine maybe it's the incense sticks do they have like sticks it's a seaside diffuser it smells so good Okay, it has a little jar, and it must have oils, and I guess you stick that stick in the oil. But it's making this entire room smell really, really fresh. I like that. That would be nice in a bathroom. Look at this big bolt of white tulle. Okay. Here is some sort of knitting or wire ribbon. It has a mark here just on that spot, but the rest of it is fine. Looks like that... Diffuse, it looks like the oils from that uh, diffuser may have leaked on it. Here is a skeleton. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> if you're into that kind of stuff, I'm not. But if you are, and here's a mannequin head. Yeah, for one of my wigs. Hey. I think I might keep that. I don't know. I don't keep my wigs on heads. I just throw them in a drawer. All right, what else, guys? Are we done? No, I got a couple more things. Y'all hold on a minute. Okay, now the next two items, let me make room. Uh, we'll definitely need DIYs, but I thought they were just too cute, and I'm so glad I found both of his legs. He is an adorable winter frost, um, some sort of little, I don't know, with antlers. Is it a deer? Look at that. So cute. But he has, you know, he's had some issues. But the Frugal Nista is going to fix him up. Y'all going to see him in, in my fall tour for 20, I mean my winter tour for 2015. I just thought he was too precious. I could not leave him. So we'll put him on there. And I was so glad I rescued his legs. But even without his legs, I think I could have propped him some, up somewhere. Y'all wouldn't be able to tell it. And then look at her. This is an angel, and I think she had issues also, but a beautiful angel. Angel, Y'all know I collect angels, and this girl was $34, $35. She says, peace, but I haven't looked under here or peeked, but I think she is missing her head. Yeah, but we'll see. This may be another project. The Frugal Nista may have something in mind to kind of save her. Um, but Because I think the dress form is so pretty, really, really pretty. It's a beautiful burlap and fur. Uh, really still good bones. So I like finding pieces like this that I can kind of work with. And then when I show it to you in my house, nobody believes that, you know, it looked like that. So, yeah, so let's let's finish this up. Here's another head piece in uh, a sparkle uh, green. Look at this. Uh, it has a pane in it. And I guess you put a picture in it, possibly. Yeah, it's like a frame. 
It has a slot so your picture can slide in. I'm glad to see that was in one piece. Look, here's another frame that was in one piece. Still has a pane in it. Okay. Yep. And look at this one. This one is pretty. Now that one has a little small imperfection here. But those little pearl stickers, guys, that y'all saw a minute ago, because look at the pearls here. It still is a beautiful frame. The little pearls there. Yeah. I usually don't really mess with glass because I'm so afraid of, you know, my kids stepping in it. But something like that, I think I can still work with that. That's really pretty. Here's another frame. Okay. And this is a, you know, heavy construction, a good solid one for an 8 by 10 Still has the glass in it. Okay. Uh, I found a pair of flip-flops that nobody had ever used. Okay. I thought Mirabella could wear those, but they're too small for Mirabella. They're in a size woman's six. They're just at Mirabella's size. Next year, she won't be able to wear these. Okay. Here's some more uh, pretty colorful envelopes. And look at those kind. Yeah. I was thinking with my online sales, that would be nice to mail out the actual, um, you know, bill of sale. Look at these bags. Really pretty, um, nice colors. Could be used for the fall, actually. There are a couple of oranges in here. Bunch of bags. And look at all of these stickers. Stickers for little boys. I'm saving that out for my little nephew when he's in church with me. And look at these little Minnie Mouse. Really cute. Okay. Yeah, my niece would love these. And it's a whole bunch of them, guys. Look, it's a almost like a fan-out book. Okay. Here is another sticker, My Little Pony. One is missing, but those aren't. It saves me from buying it. Oh, look at this. A pretty Princess Disney stickers. It looks like it was opened. Here is another sticker. It lights up, and this looks like a birthday sticker. <gasps> wow! Yeah, my girls are big now, but that would be so cute. Here is a book. This is called Hoppy Club Easter. It's from um, the Minnie Mouse, I mean the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I hate when I see books thrown away. I told y'all my mother was as an avid reader. Does that one work? That one works also. There's another little sticker. And look at this. I'm surprised this was in the trash. Minions are so popular now and it's a Minions Can You Find book. Find out 200 minions. There are no imperfections that I can find. Right? Look at that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What is going on? Throwing away books. And look at this. Some kind of layered lip balm. Oh, I guess you can make your own lip balm. Okay? Still in this original package. Still sealed. So I have to see what that's about. Look at this big tie-dye kit. And it looks like for a birthday party. Okay. Look at these little stickers. And I thought this was adorable. I may use this for my fall haul. Look at this. It's an easel. And it's a chalkboard. Originally, guys, this was $14.99. Look at that. Cute little easel, and I like the little uh, washed out red look. Y'all might see that in my fall tour. Here are some stencils, some more envelopes, and then this last pack of uh, fabric paint. And I think that is it. Yes. Woo. Y'all, I'm tired. Ain't no joke, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my free find video. Now it's time for me to, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with this. I'm posing the question to you. What would you do if you had access to all of these items? A lot of this stuff you know I'm not going to be able to use. You know, even if I could use it, there's only so much square footage my home has. What would you do if you found yourself with all of these free finds in your possession? Write it in the comment below. I like talking with y'all. I like chatting with you. Let me know if you found some nice things. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video, guys. Bye.